Now let us discuss about binary to any other base conversion. Mainly we have four types of number systems are there. First one is binary number system. Second one is decimal number system. Third one is octal number system. Fourth one is hexadecimal number system. Binary means base value is 2. Binary number mainly contains two symbols such as 0 and 1. Decimal means base value is 10. Decimal number mainly contains 10 symbols. Decimal number mainly contains 10 symbols from 0 to 9. Octal means base value is 8. Octal number mainly contains 8 symbols from 0 to 7. Hexadecimal means base value is 16. Hexadecimal number mainly contains 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So A to F means 10 to 15. Okay. So here our target is uh, we want to convert binary to decimal, binary to octal as well as binary to hexadecimal. Okay. So first let us see the first one. The first one is binary to decimal conversion. So two binary numbers are given. So one is normal integer, second one is a fractional number, floating point number. So we have to convert these two numbers into the decimal numbers. So binary to decimal conversion. Let us see the first example. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the binary number. So we have to convert this binary number to the decimal number. So this bit is called as MSB. MSB stands for most significant bit, whereas this bit is called as least significant bit. If we want to convert binary to decimal number, we have to start from the least significant bit. And on top of the least significant bit, we have to write as 2 power 0. Next bit, 2 power 1. So next one, 2 power 2. So we have to start from the LSB and write towards the and move towards the MSB. So next to 2 power 3. Next to 2 power 4. Next we need to simply multiply these terms and add the corresponding results. So 2 power 4 into 1 plus 2 power 3 into 1, 2 power 4 into 1 plus 2 power 3 into 1. We need to add the corresponding terms. So plus 2 power 2 into 0. So plus 2 power 1 into 1 plus 2 power 0 into 0. So 2 power 4 means 16. 16 into 1 means 16 plus 2 power 3 means 8. 8 into 1 means 8 plus 2 power 2 means 4. 4 into 0 means 0. 2 power 1 means 2. So 2 into 1 means 2. Plus 2 power 0. Anything power 0 is equal to 1. 1 into 0 is equal to 0. So let us as the terms. So 16 plus 8, 24. So 24 plus 2, 26. So 26 base 10. So this is the corresponding decimal number for this binary number. Now let us solve the second example. So 110101011. So already for 11010. Already the decimal number is calculated. It is 26. So now we have to calculate for 0 0.11 and add the terms. So here uh, on, uh, this is nothing but LSB. On top of 0 we need to write 2 power 0. On top of 1 we need to write 2 power 1. On top of 0 2 power 2. On top of 1 2 power 3. On top of 1 2 power 4. Next uh, after the dot next we need to write 2 power minus 1. Next to 2 power minus 2, 2 power minus 3, likewise. So 2 power minus 1, 2 power minus 2, likewise. So for this binary number, already the result is calculated. So simply we need to multiply the terms and add the results. So 1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 square plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 is nothing but 26. So 26 dot 1 into 2 power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 power minus 2. So 26 dot, so 26, 26 
uh, simply we have to add the terms let us place tw plus so 26 plus so simply we need to add the results okay so so 0 into 1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 square plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power minus 1 likewise okay so plus 1 into a power m this is in the form of a power minus m a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m so 1 by 1 into 1 by 2 power 1 plus 1 into 1 by 2 square okay so 26 plus 26 plus next 1 into 26 plus so here there is no need to write one more one so 1 into 1 by 2 power 1 so that is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 into 1 by 2 square means 1 by 4 so 26 plus 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 so the result is 26 point so 26.5 plus 26.25 is nothing but 26.75 base 10 so here the result is 20 yeah it is not visible so 26.75 base 10 26.75 base 10 so this is the decimal number for this binary number so in this way we can convert a binary number into the decimal number okay now let us see the uh, second conversion that is binary to the octal number so binary means it mainly contains two symbols 0 and 1 whereas octal means it mainly contains uh, 8 symbols from 0 to 1 0 to 1 so here octal means uh, we use as 4 to 1 notation octal means uh, we use as 4 to 1 notation uh, let us uh, represent uh, octal numbers in binary notation uh, here we use as 4 to 1 notation so 1 means 2 power 0 2 means 2 power 1 so 4 means 2 power 2 so octal means it mainly contains 10 8 symbols from 0 to 7 so 0 means uh, no need of 1 2 4 so simply we need to place zeros in all the positions so 1 means we have to write 1 in one position remaining position 0 0 next to 2 means we have to write 1 in two position remaining 0 0 next to 3 means these are nothing but digits from 0 to 7 so for octal digits from for the digits we use this binding notation 3 means sum of 2 and 1 so we need to add 2 and 1 so 0 next to 4 means simply we need to place 1 in 4th position there is no need of 2 and 1 so 5 means sum of 4 and 1 so we need to place 1 in 4 and 1 position next uh, uh, in 2 position 0 6 means sum of 4 and 2 so we need to place 1 in 4 and 2 position next 0 7 means all ones all ones so 4 plus 2 plus 1 so 7 means all ones so 7 means all ones so, okay uh, now let us solve the examples the first problem is 1 triple 1 0 double 1 triple 1 0 double 1 so this is nothing but most significant bit this is nothing but least significant bit so here also we have to start from the least significant bit here each octal digit represents three bits each octal digit represents three bits so we have to group three bits from right to left so from least significant bit to the most significant bit so this will become one group this will become one group okay this will become okay we have to go move from least significant bit to the most significant bit from right to the left so this will become these three bits will will constitute one octal number these three bits constitute one octal number triple one means four two one seven whereas zero double one means 0 double 1 means 4 2 1 so 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 so 73 so 73 base 8 so 73 base 8 so this is the octal number for this binary number okay now let us see the second example uh, 7 triple 1 0 double 1 dot 1 0 dot 1 0 okay here uh, uh, the integer part is same only but uh, fractional part is uh, also given so here what we have to do is uh, before the dot we have to move from least significant bit to the most significant bit after the dot we have to move from most significant bit to the least significant bit 
so before the dot we have to move from right to left after the dot we have to move from left to to right okay so 0 triple 1 0 double 1 will become one group triple 1 will become one group next year we are having only two bits but octal number must represent three bits so we have to add one more zero why because uh, for, uh, if we add zero then the result won't changes one zero or one double zero uh, one zero or one double zero represent same octal number okay so this will become one group so triple one means seven zero double one means three dot one double zero means four so here the result is 73.4 base 8 so in this way we can convert a binary number into the octal number now let us see the last one the last one is binary to hexadecimal number so binary to hexadecimal number so binary number is given so for this binary number we have to write the corresponding hexadecimal number okay corresponding hexadecimal number okay uh, so this is the hexadecimal number next this is nothing but binary number binary number so hexadecimal means it is a combination of 10 symbols from 0 to 9 and a to f okay here uh, we require four bits we require four bits why because we want we have to represent from 0 to 15 so we need four bits here okay so 8 4 2 1 so we have to use 8 4 2 1 notation octal means 4 2 1 notation so 1 means 2 power 0 2 means 2 power 1 4 means 2 power 2 8 means 2 power 3 so 0 means all zeros 1 means we have to write 1 in 1 position remaining position 0 so 2 means we have to write 1 in 2 position remaining position zeros 3 means sum of 2 and 1 so we need to write 1 in 2 and 1 position remaining position zeros so 4 means we have to write 1 in 4 position next remaining position zeros so 5 means sum of 4 and 1 sum of 4 and 1 next remaining position 0 so 6 means sum of 4 and 2 so remaining position zeros 7 means 7 means sum of 4 to 1 next let us write for remaining bits 8 so here uh, we need to use 8 4 2 1 notation 8 means we have to write 1 in 8 position next remaining position zeros 9 means sum of 4 and 1 sum of 8 and 1 so we need to write 1 in 8 and 1 position remaining position zeros next a means 10 b means 11 c means 12 d means 13 e means 14 f means 15 so next one is a a is nothing but 10 so 10 means sum of 8 and 2 so 1, one 0 1 0 next b so b means 11 so 11 means sum of 8 2 1 next uh, fourth position 0 next c means 12 so 12 means sum of 8 and 4 next d means 13 13 means sum of 8 4 1 8 4 1 next 14 means sum of 8 4 2 15 f means all ones now let us solve the problems the first problem is 5 ones 5 ones 0 0 1 1 5 ones 0 0 1 1 so here also we have to start from the least significant bit or rightmost bit and move towards the most significant bit or most significant bit okay that means we have to start from the rightmost bit and move towards the left okay here each hexadecimal digit represents four bits each hexadecimal uh, digit represents four bits so here the group should contain four bits so this will become one group next this will become another group uh, next here we are having only one okay but here we require four bits for representing an octa uh, for a hexadecimal number so we need to append three zeros so this will become one group so triple zero one is nothing but one next 4 1 is nothing but all ones 15 1 f next double 0 double 1 is nothing but uh, 8 4 2 1 that is nothing but 3 so 1 f 3 let us see the second problem so integer part is uh, same but uh, decimal point fractional number is also given dot 0 1 1 dot 0 1 1 so here only 3 bits are given so we need to append one more 0 
So dot zero double one. Only three bits are given. So we need to append one more zero. Why? Because hexadecimal digit means it represents four bits. So append one zero. This will become one group. Here we need to proceed from left to two right. Okay. So dot zero double one zero is nothing but six. So here the result is one f three dot six base sixteen. So in this way we can convert a binary number into uh, decimal number, octal number, hexadecimal number. This is about uh, binary to any other base conversion.